Can I get a whoop whoop? Um, I'm just kidding. I'm not sure what I'm doing with my intros. But anyways, we have a battle against Oliver. And now I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Bro, what the hell? Is that an AP pump? What are you using an AP pump for? What is wrong with you? Okay, so yes, yes, I'm using an AP pump. So what? The reason why I'm using this Pokemon is because I'm inspired by the PokeMD. Now, I'm not a huge fan on him, but uh, I watched one of his videos on him doing a series where he's actually trying to take a single Pokemon and single-handedly take that Pokemon to an other tier. So he was a actually able uh, of taking AP Pond from NU all the way to UU. He also did that with another Pokemon called Memoswine. He took Memoswine from UU to OU. That was insane. For somebody to single-handedly take a Pokemon from up a tier, single-handedly by himself, two of them in fact, is insane. I have never seen that before. So that is crazy. He really does some really impossible stuff. Uh, so he does have... He did take Ibi Palm up a tier. I'm not sure if they actually changed it or not. But uh, Ibi Palm it became Yu Yu. I was so inspired by it that I was actually uh, celebrating it. That, uh, you know, Ibi Palm actually was able to uh, become Yu Yu now. It's, uh, a person was actually able to do something, a feat, that I never thought possible. So he did something like that. It was amazing. I'm celebrating here to now use Ibi Palm in OU. Because if Ibi Palm is good enough to, to go up a tier like that, it must be good enough to know you. So we're going to be testing out to see if this Pokemon is worthy of the try hard meta of OU. So we are going to be seeing whether or not if this Pokemon is up to it. Uh, let's get into the battle. This team did definitely took me out quite a while to build. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy this game and this team itself. I worked so hard on this team, man. It took me about weeks because Ibi Palm is just... It's not difficult to pull one of the teams with, it's just... I guess it is. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna leave with my Keldeo as he lead, leads off with his ran perfect, perfect lead. Right here, I don't know what type of player he is, so I think I am just gonna go straight for the Skull. And whatever he does. Now, truth is, it was very obvious he was gonna switch into this man time. I had no reason not to just go for Sacred Sword. But uh, I am gonna make the prediction of just going straight for the Skull. And, but he is going to switch into his man time, so he is going to predict that good move on his plate, uh, part. So what he's going to do here is going to actually go for the Tossic. Now that's a good move to have on man time because, you know, um, man time, no, 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 uh, what's my call it? Volcaronas and stuff like that, like the really screw you. Or even Landers itself. Mega Gyarados as well, maybe you can Tossic that as well. So, you know, I, that, that uh, wasn't really too surprising. It's a good thing to know that my Mega can take that thing on quite nicely. Right here, I am going to switch directly into my laners against this Venusaur because I know for a fact he uh, can't really Oko me or do much damage to me. And not only that, though, I know I can uh, scare him out with a potential uh, fly. Um, switching to his Ferrothorn, though, wasn't the greatest move if he was predicting that. But uh, I am going to set my Stealth Rocks, and he is going to switch to his Ferrothorn. Right here, I am just going to switch directly out into my, um, my Blissa Falon, because he wants to go for anything like Stealth Rocks, this is a great opportunity for me to just blow something back. Truth is though, this was my perfect opportunity to go for Trick. Why I did not do it this turn was beyond me. The reason why I probably didn't do it was because he has this uh, Heat Ran in the back. And because he has that Heat Ran, I was thinking, okay, I do not want this thing being tricked a Choice Scarf. Uh, not Choice Scarf, a Choice Spec, because that can do a lot of damage to me. So what I'm going to do is go straight for the Choice Spec Shadow Ball on this man's side. And not only that, though, with Stealth Rocks, with the Stealth Rocks on top of, you know, my powerful ass Blissiflon, I thought I could honestly destroy this man's side. But unfortunately, that's not going to happen. The man's side is going to live with the Sliver, and it's going to roost off the damage. At this point, he can just keep roosting and roosting, uh, and then defaw these rocks away, which is something I do not want. At this level HP, he can just easily just go for the Devog now and then roost up. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is uh, actually go for the Shadow Ball again. I was thinking that I was getting, uh, I could potentially get a special defense drop. If that could happen, he'll be forced to do something risky here. <coughs> uh, wait. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Anyways, yes, I am going to be forced to switch out now. Uh, it was risky of me just staying in at all, because Blue Flan is just so damn frail. Staying in against this man's eye could have definitely uh, screwed me off with a potential uh, knockout, because Blue Flan could probably just die with a strip skull from man's eye. Who knows? 
But anyways, I am going to do here is go straight into my gear. Luckily, he is not burning me. And what I'm going to do here is go for the Volt Switch. Uh, because he doesn't have too... He does? He doesn't have too many Volt Switch switch-ins against me. And I don't think he's going to play risky against me either. So what I'm going to do here is go for the Volt Switch. That's he switches, switches into his Venusaur. It's going to take a lot of damage. And what I'm going to do now is go straight into my Blissifon yet again. Because it can destroy stuff. Definitely. And uh, right here I'm going to go straight for the Shadow Ball. He doesn't have much of anything to touch me with unless he has Knock Off or, or Earthquake. Knock Off is... A th it can be a thing on Mega Venusaur. I've seen it before. So I don't know if he really will have it or not. But right here I am going to go straight for the Shadow Ball on, as he switches into his Guard Chunk. Now the truth is though... This, I want so badly to go for another shop off, but I cannot risk him be being potentially a uh, choice card variant. So what I'm going to do here is switch into my Landorus SC. It is actually going to reveal that he is not choice card. He was switching into his guard jump for some whatever reason. And, uh, yeah, that's basically ha going to happen. He's going to go for the Drag Club right here. Actually, no, is he choice card? I can't remember. This battle was so long ago. I can't remember his sets, but I do remember some of the moves. So, um... He is actually going to uh, switch directly out. I believe he is Choice Scarf, actually. Which is why he made that play. Right here, he is going to switch into his Verithorn. That was... I was actually scared when he did this. Because I was thinking, he, oh gosh, I'm going to take Iron Bars, Rocky Helmet, damn it, damn it. But, and the truth is, he is going to have both of those. Which is really annoying. So my Glanders is going to take a lot of damage. Uh, right here, I'm going to switch back to my Blissiflon. And go straight for the uh, Trick. Tri I should be going for Trick right now. That's what I should be doing. But obviously I'm not doing it. I'm actually going <laughs> I'm going for the um the shadow balls and whatnot. Which is a terrible idea. I should not be doing this at all. But uh, I'm gonna go for the shadow ball again. It's gonna screw me over. I need a trick I, I should have tricked him so long ago. But right here I am gonna get a special defense drop, which is absolutely perfect. That was what so, that was what I was looking for throughout this uh throughout spamming shadow ball on this man's side. So that is perfect. He is forced to die here. He, the stealth rocks are here to stay. And I am going to give my beast boost and special attack. He does have that guard shop though to check me. So that's going to be an unfortunate. He doesn't have me switch into a fire blast anymore either. He's, he's been seeing me spam shadow ball as of now. So he doesn't think of much of what I would go for. Other than shadow ball. So uh, what I am going to do here now is switch into my landers. Uh, my landers is almost worthless in this game. I don't really care about the fogging or seeing my rocks up again. My rocks are here to stay, honestly. It's the fogger's dead. So, uh, I am going to switch to my landers as he is going to go for Drag Claw, obviously. I could have switched into my Magiran and so all that, but, uh, I just didn't want to. The truth is, this is my best, uh, this is my best opportunity to do it now. Well, obviously, I'm not going to do it. Like I said, I'm not going to risk him bluffing a potential choice scarf or anything. So, what I am going to do here is allow him to kill me. And now what? Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. What am I doing? No! No! He's not bluffing, obviously. Otherwise, he was sword dance or something. No, this is stupid. So, yes, he is going to re reveal that he do is Choice Scarf. I'm going to lose my Blissiflon. My Blissiflon did so much work this game. I don't know what I was thinking throughout this game at all. I don't know why I didn't go for Trick when I had the opportunities. I don't know why I risked him not being Choice Scarf. I knew he sh was not bluffing. So right here, I am going to go straight for the Skull, finishing up this Guard Chomp. If he wants to switch into the Venusaur, the thing can get burned. But he is going to switch into the Venusaur now. My Bliss of Launch is dead, so wall breaking against this thing is going to be a... Uh, it's going to be a difficult route. The reason why I probably risk my Bliss... No, I don't even understand it. No, I don't even understand it. Why? Why did I do that? Why? He has this damn Venusaur and some un other annoying threats that I could have destroyed with my Bliss of Launch. So I don't understand why I did this, uh, but anyways, I am going to lose my Blissful Flying. I am going to finish off his Guard Chomp, and now what he's going to do is send this in with his Venusaur, as I am going to switch it to my Magina. I was praying to God, this thing did... I was praying. Please do not have Sleep Power. Please have something like uh, uh, HP Fire. So luckily he does have it. And because he has HP Fire, it won't do shit. He can't touch my Magina entirely. This Magina, my Magina is a great pivot against this Venusaur. Which is great to know. What I'm going to do here now is uh, go straight into my Ape Palm and do some little bit of damage. My Ape Palm uh, kind of gets screwed by this Venusaur because he can be offensive. I'm going to go straight for the Fake Out right now, but he is going to be fearing that and switch, and he's going to switch directly to his Ferrothorn. 
Great switch in on his part. Uh, I completely forgot about that. I'm thinking I definitely did because I'm gonna take iron barbs and this. Oh, there's all the crap now. Damn it! There was such a stupid play. I don't know why I would think he was not. Uh, he was um stay in when he caught up the fight. The, that shit was so obvious. I don't know why I would think he wouldn't. Um, I don't understand why I would think he would just stay in when that was so obvious. I was obviously gonna go for fake out, but uh, he is gonna catch me slipping. My palm is dead just from two hits. Now what I'm gonna do here is uh, go for the double hit as he is gonna switch into his Venusaur. At this point, he can just go for the uh, synthesis as I do go for a double hit, which is actually gonna do a th quite a bit of damage, more damage than I suspected on a Venusaur. Uh, right here, he is gonna go for the Giga Drain, finishing me off. But unfortunately for him, that was not the good move. I would spam synthesis, <clears throat> getting my recovery up. But since he allowed this Venusaur to take so much damage, I am going to be able to finish it off with my Laios. And there's not many switches he has against it. And he doesn't have any- he can't switch into my uh, kill deal either with this Venusaur. He needs to get a free switch in. So what I am going to do here is uh, go straight for the Psychic. I'm not going to play games with that damn thing. I don't care if he switches into the Heat Ran. This thing cannot- since this Heat Ran is on Air Balloon, it has no chance of having a- uh, Having a- uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, that one move. What's what's it called? Um. Oh, uh, Bloom Doom. Because he runs run that stuff. It's old meta game, like, like say early Sun Moon meta to have uh, Bloom Doom on your he ran. But anyways, I am gonna actually uh, scare him out. I knew for a fact he was gonna switch out from his Venusaur against my Lyos, so it's a perfect opportunity to set up a Dragon Dance. And because I got that Dragon Dance up, everything gets swapped. All I did was that he ran, I mean, Ferrothorn out of my way. <laughs> now, at this point, my Gladius just sweeps. Almost. Um, I'm going to take out the he ran. The Leviancer dies. There isn't much what else he can do to me. <laughs> ha ha. Ha ha. Because he is going to switch into Landorus. Like I said, there's not much this thing can do to me either. So I do have the Ice Beaminator, boy. You thought I wasn't ready for Landorus? I was ready for Landorus with this team, man. I was ready for it. That's why I got the Ice Beam, boy. That's what you done, son. Yes, yes, get out, my, get out of my face. Now here is the landers. Goodbye, Blitch. Goodbye, Blitch. And now what he's gonna do is switch into the Venusaur thanks to Stealth Rocks. And because I'm on neutral attack, I will still be able uh, to uh, knock out this Venusaur with that range of HP. And that's gonna be game. So, Dragon Dance, Lyos for the win, by the So, yes. Every Pom wasn't able to do too much. I do have some extra battles, very intense battles, actually, with my MP Pom. I will be revealing those and showing them off. I wanna thank you guys for watching this one. Uh, Ape Palm, still a cool Pokemon, and also, let this uh, be a lesson to us all. Regardless of a Pokemon, how weak, or how small, or how significant, it can always be turned into something great, just based on the user himself. Any Pokemon can be great, you just have to find its strengths and uh, exploit them to your best benefits in a battle. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we will be back as soon as possible with our next Wi-Fi battle, because, you know, Ultra Sun and Moon is ending. And I do have a lot of battles on Citra that I want to get off and reveal to you guys. So, thank you guys for watching. We, we, we will be back. Until next time, peace.